Okay, well, I just recorded about three or four theory-like videos for the haves and the have-nots, and this is more of a mellow, chill video where I'm actually going to be talking about a character who I never expected to like as much as I do now, and that's Landon. And I dare say it, ladies and gentlemen, that Landon is arguably now one of the best characters in the series. I know, I'm shocked too. I mean, if you go back over not even the entirety of last year to where we are now, but let's just say over the let's just say over the course of the past 10, 10 to 15 episodes, Landon has had far more character development within the span of not even 20 episodes than most of the main characters who have been on this series since either season one or came in around season two or season three. And that's saying something. And the reason I'm doing this is because if you remember in recent episodes, um, not just the scene, not the episode exactly where Landon tries to go down on Charles. But then the next episode, I think, is where Charles punches him. And then the following episode is when he makes peace with Landon. And I remember praising that scene because it was only, what, three or four minutes long. But it was one of the best scenes of the entire season so far because it really resonates in real life where like say you're on a job or you're on a team or whatever the case may be and it's one person who's straight and one person who's gay it, it doesn't matter as long as there's a mutual respect and understanding between the two where it's like look if you're attracted to me you know that's you know all well and good because you're attracted to who you're attracted to but just know that I'm not into the same sex whatsoever. And if we can bench those feelings, I don't want to lose you because you're so damn good at what you do. And if those feelings get in, are something that can't be handled, then we can just end this business relationship right now. And it was amazing because Charles, again, understood or wanted to know exactly where Landon was coming from. No pun intended. Re mutually respected that he was so good at his job and then pretty much laid down the foundation like look here's the line and if it gets crossed again you know what let's not even talk about what will happen so I'm just glad those two came to an understanding and even further than that Landon put his own feelings for Charles aside to actually try to put him together with the woman who one he doesn't think is a good fit for him to begin with but two recognizes that with Candace around Charles is at his best so to actually have Landon go above and beyond for his boss for a lack of a better phrase that was incredible I mean even from recognizing Candace almost having a ner nervous breakdown to having Charles sent in so they can talk so they can actually you know hopefully make each other better he gets a standing ovation for me that if I hate to say this, but if Landon left the show, that would be it. Like, I mean, he's done more. He's go, he's gone above and beyond. I mean, definitely proven to be a successful, uh, protege of Maggie day. And now he's up there with a presidential candidate. It, it's just fantastic. I mean, Landon is definitely one of the best characters in the show. Yeah, it does get a little annoying how it seems like he's just lusting after every good-looking man he sees, kind of like Catherine is now. But I have to admit, where you look at Landon when he first showed up in the series to where he is now, there's definitely been a growth. And you know how I've already, always talked about how, in a way, uh, Justin is like a twisted image of season one Jeffrey but also a representation of who Jeffrey would have become if he never came out of the closet Landon kind of became a twisted version of Jeffrey from season one as well pining after a straight man you know Jeffrey with Wyatt and then you know Laura he, he saw her as um obstacle same thing with Landon and Charles and then Candace is the Laura of that situation but the difference here is not only did um, Charles knock the hell out of Landon for trying to go down on him, but at the same time, uh, he laid down the rule. He laid down the law. Him and Landon came to an understanding and they moved forward. And that was amazing to me. So I really do feel like in terms of character progression, Landon is definitely at the top. I just hope and pray his character does not get diminished in the near future. Um, uh, Mitch is still my favorite character at the moment, but Landon is definitely now within my top three. It's like Landon 
in no particular order, but you know, Mitch Landon and I think David has climbed the ranks now because it looks like he has a major plan going on. So those are just my opinions. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, do you feel like Landon is one of the better characters? And the reason I rank him so high, once again, is character progression. He's not the same one note character he's been um, like a lot of these other characters like Wyatt, Dopehead or crackhead Candace just scheming and scheming yeah it looks like he's changing but it hasn't happened yet um you know Jeffrey's just that's just regression to the worst scale you know where it looked like he was getting character growth but I don't care how many times you attack your mother but if you're going to be a dumbass and go with Justin then I have nothing to say for you um David is actually turning things around uh, Catherine is interesting this season. I just don't like the whole dynamic of her character now just because of the fact that this is not the right time for her to be doing what she's doing for the sake of avoiding going to jail. Uh, Jim is... Jim is Jim. That's really all I can say on that. Veronica, she is acting a little less cautious than usual, but I think that's because David knows how to push her buttons. And Benny is just kind of there just to be an ass. So yeah, Landon's easily one of my favorites. So once again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, if you haven't, I would definitely suggest doing so. Remember the mid-season finale is right around the corner. And if loving you is wrong is also right around the corner as well. Thanks so much for making it to the end of this video. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you like what you just saw. And if you have anything you would like to add to the video itself, go down to the comment section below and type out your thoughts. And I also have social media related to the haves and have nots, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page, Facebook group. Links to everything will be in the description below. And if you like action figures, video games, and trading cards, I have an eBay store as well where there's free shipping on everything. But I also have a second YouTube channel that I'm working on where I talk about things that are non Tyler Perry related, such as anime, superhero shows and movies, music, pop culture, and sometimes political news, depending on what the circumstances are. Be sure to check out that channel as well. In the top left hand corner, you should see a picture of Candace Young. You can click on her to subscribe to the Haves and Have Nots review. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. And if you like the video you just saw, be sure to check out the other two videos that should be popping up on the right hand side. Trust me, if you like this video, you'll love them too. Once again, thanks so much for visiting my YouTube channel, and I'll talk to you in the next video.